Welcome to XX World Travel, a podcast for independent women travelers. I'm Kathy Polkerbeck. And I'm Inez Bellina. And we are um, popping in briefly <laughs> to share some news with yes. you. After three seasons? Yeah, three seasons. We have decided to bring the podcast to an end. Yeah, we're saying bon voyage. So it's both a sad choice, but I think it's also probably the best choice for us right now. Moving on to bigger, better things. It's good. Change is good. Yeah. So do we want to talk a bit about why we decided to end it? Sure. I think there were several reasons. Let's start with one of the major ones for me, which is that independent podcasting is hard. <laughs> Yeah. All yeah. around hard. <laughs> and um, yes, that was also a major one for me. So we love doing this, but it's really hard with no pay. Um, there's a real discrepancy. Like we saw the girls from another, the women from another round speak and they, uh, a couple years ago, and they told us there's no bootstrapping in podcasting, which is true. Mm -hmm. You have to be a famous person before you have a podcast, or you have to have a big media company behind you, or you have to have been doing it, like, for years yeah. and gotten in early. Yeah, I think there is such a big difference between having monetary or institutional support, if you will, and then trying to do it alone. And there's, I'm sure, a ton of successful podcasts you know, that started out independent. I'm really happy for them, but I am willing to bet that the vast majority, you know, have a short life. Right. Way shorter than ours, actually. Exactly. And what you don't see, like, you hear us talking for 45 minutes, but there is so much that goes into it. Um, the editing, recording, setting up interviews with people, editing, promoting, and we both have day jobs and other stuff we want to do, and that takes a lot of time. Like, the biggest surprise for me when we began podcasting and had figured out the bulk of the technical stuff was how much time we spent promoting. Yes, it is one of those realizations where the actual recording of the podcast, which was probably our favorite part, maybe took a couple of hours. The promoting was a constant daily affair pretty much so i would say it was like 10 percent <laughs> recording but 45 percent editing yeah. and packaging and then 45 percent promoting yes so yeah it's hard it is i think at least in my case if all i had to do was show up and interview people or share people's stories or talk to people i would keep doing this for a very very long time but the rest of it, as you said, was it's just a lot. You know, we do have day jobs. We have other things that we would like to do with our time. And, you know, kind of when push comes to shove, we decided to move on. And on the plus side, it's very amicable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is very amicable. I wish I had a salacious story to tell. But no, no. no. <laughs> we should have made one up. We should have. Um, but I think that's pretty much it. You know, and... I don't know. I they obviously travel can inspire a million stories and there's a ton of people and places that I would like to talk about. But on the other hand, I feel like we hit a good number of different stories that people can enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to keep um the podcast up at least for the near future, like at least probably for a year. Yeah. So Maybe you can recommend us to people and we'll get a posthumous bump <laughs> in our stats. Yeah, that would be great because we did work hard on it. And more than, you know, what we have to contribute, like all the guests that were willing to show up to share their own stories about travel and their own perspectives. Like, I also don't want their contributions to be lost. Either. Exactly. And yeah. it's evergreen information for the most part. It's really valuable information. Yeah. So I would, which was like when I was thinking about this podcast was one of my goals was to take my experience and the experience of others. So other women could use it and, you know, enhance their travel lives. Yeah. I mean, I keep thinking we do have a series on how to plan a trip. Mm -hmm. So 
that will probably remain the same for a very long time. And I would say even things like destinations, though, you know, hotels may change, restaurants may change or whatnot. It does give at least a good overview of what you can find and discover there. Yeah. Yeah. So what are some of the lessons we learned podcasting? That some podcast fans are super duper devoted Mm -hmm. and our numbers were small but mighty. But every time we saw certain people comment on photos or give us feedback about episodes, like that warmed our hearts. So thank you, thank you, thank you so very much for that. Like, it was very validating. Yes, I agree. I loved hearing from fans. You know, I think the things I liked hearing the most was when people felt that they could identify with our desire to travel or when people felt motivated to travel because of what they had, you know, because of one of our episodes or what we had said. And also for people who had, like, who were in the process of rediscovering it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Or for people who are like, I'm not the only weirdo out here. That was the best. (laughs) That was my favorite. Because we're all weirdos together. (laughs) We are. (laughs) Yeah, I'm trying to think of lessons learned other than, like, podcast is a really tough medium, but also that we have this devoted fan base. It was interesting to see how the travel industry works now with social media influencers and all that. And I'm a little torn about, one, a certain saltiness, you know, of wanting to have that kind of power, but also like a weird um, sense that it's really not that enjoyable and it's very fake. (laughs) And and it's very manufactured. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Like for, for all our social media stuff, we played, we played nice. We didn't buy followers. We didn't do any of that stuff. And I think that kind of hurt us. Yeah, I think (laughs) it did. To be honest, I mean, this is a particular pet peeve of mine. Like, I really don't care to see a super waif-like woman in a flowy dress in some exotic location. Like, that is not interesting to me, and I'd much rather see pictures simply about the location or giving info or an actual street scene that hasn't been art directed for the last five hours. And I think, like, we made the conscious choice to do that, or, like, we decided, right? At least I told Kathy being like, I'm not going to do this. And I also think that hurt us. But I, like, just could not bring myself to, like for three hours, put myself in some flowy dress with a wide brimmed hat. Well, I don't think that was ever the point of this. And I think we both agreed. (laughs) Like, one of my my favorite compliments I received was that people liked us because we're genuine. And I I think that really shone through in all the stuff we put out there. So, yeah. So even if it was small, at least, at least the people who received it or got it knew that it came from our hearts. Right. And not from a very strategic campaign. Right. And, okay, one of the things I learned is if somebody who is not Kim Kardashian or Beyonce (laughs) has 100,000 followers, they probably don't. Yeah. (laughs) That's probably true. Uh, On the other hand, though, it was nice to meet a lot of, successful people who had done it their own way yeah i thought that was inspiring yeah Yeah. for sure for sure and another thing i learned is that timing is everything yeah you know you can do everything right and it can just be the wrong time so what did you like the most about the experience i thought we interviewed some really cool ladies yeah Just trying to research that and see what's out there and to find out that there's this whole travel community of kick-ass women. And I also like the fact that we interviewed some some pretty pretty big names in the travel world, but like some really great stories came from people that you had never heard of who were just friends of ours and friends of the podcast. Like, it still blows my mind that one of the most popular episodes was with our friend Jessica Kent. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it must have really spoke to people because, you know, we know her, but you don't. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Um, I think for me it was definitely making the connections with other people, getting to know both, like, our friends a little bit better because once you start asking questions about travel you suddenly see them in this new light and perspective yes unless you've traveled with them before but for most of our friends that we interviewed like we hadn't had that experience right Um, 
So it was really cool to see that other side. And then for the successful people, it's like, I mean, it's really shocking to see who's willing to be part of your project if you just ask. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think that's also one of the biggest lessons I've learned because I am, you know, I have a constant fear of failure. I always think the worst is going to happen. So I've stopped myself from doing a lot of things because I'm like, they'll never say yes to this ideal. They'll never say yes to me. And the podcast has taught me that like, Actually, asking is not that scary. Right. <laughs> and a lot of times people will say yes. And if they say no, you just move on. Yeah. And if they say no, you just move on. So. Yes, we've had some no's too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't been all been a bed of roses. <laughs> um, yeah, it was, it was fun. I'm glad I did it. I mean, we both can now do things with GarageBand that we can't do, <laughs> that we weren't able to do before. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's been fun. It's been fun. So thank you so much, small but devoted audience, yeah. uh, for your support. And like like we said, it just made our day whenever one of your comments or messages or whatever reached us. So thank you. Yeah. And I guess before we sign off, if you'd like to stay in touch, Kathy, where can they find you? You can find me at KP Funkenstein <laughs> on um, Instagram and Twitter, though I'm not very active on Twitter. And yeah. you? Same thing with me. You can find me on Instagram at Inez Bellina, which I really like, and on Twitter at Ivy Writes. So I guess we will leave you with our famous parting words. Go, Go forth, forth and travel. travel. Thank you.